Another Q clash is upon us. You must be pretty pumped to get out there. Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, obviously, there have been really good contests over the last couple of years. Um, certainly at the start of my career, the Suns were all over us. Um, we've been lucky enough to sort of turn the tide a little bit lately. Um, so, yeah, it's always a good clash down the road. Um, nice to play them up on our home deck and looking forward to it. Given the difference in quality between the two sides, it's a great chance for you guys to maybe get that big percentage boost towards final. Oh, no, I don't think we're worried about that at all, to be honest with you. Um, we've been focusing on what they're bringing every week and they've been extremely competitive um, in pretty much all their games this year and um, they play a really contested brand of footy, which is something that we feel we want to match ourselves in that regard and, um, yeah, it'll be a really good challenge tomorrow afternoon. So, I'm saying they won the last one, did Yeah, they did. Yeah, they beat us by five points. Uh, I think it was maybe the start of last year, I reckon it was, around five. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure they'll be coming up again backing themselves in and um, we've just got to, I guess, go by our process. Is that the thing about these matches, like where you are on the ladder? Yeah, it doesn't matter at all, I guess. Um, obviously, like, they set themselves for a big week and so do we. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter how they're going form-wise or how we're going form-wise. It's just going to be a good challenge out there against them. They've had a bit of adversity, Harris, in, in the last 24 hours. How does that affect the footy club? What do you expect from them? Oh, yeah, I imagine they'll be extremely united, as they have been throughout the season. Um, yeah, they'll be coming hard up against us and uh, we've got to set ourselves for a big task and Fag has done a really good job this week of um, you know, ignoring that recent form line um, and just yeah, setting ourselves for a really big challenge. When clubs have a tough week like they've had with their front starter, does that sort of galvanise the sport or does it distract the sport or what does it do to a team when they have a tough week like that? Yeah, I obviously haven't experienced anything like that um, in my time in footy but um, I'm, I'm sure it probably galvanised them if anything. Uh, you've seen when things like that, like even a change of coach uh, for a lot of teams in the comp this year, like they've been able to come out and perform really well. So, um, yeah, I imagine they'll be bringing their best game and we're going to have to be up, up to it, ready to perform. Harris, uh, pretty exciting for you, mate, the captain of the club in the key flash this weekend? <laughs> nah, unfortunately not. I got, uh, I got stitched up. I wouldn't be here otherwise, but um, yeah, Zorks, uh, he's right to go. So, yes, keep me roll as VC and um, yeah, wait for that day to come. Did you have your pre-match speech all ready to go, mate? Knew which, which call you were going to oh, make? I was asking Zorks for some um, hints earlier in the week how to go about it, and uh, he said, just don't worry about the palm cards. So, yeah, I had to put them away, and um, yeah, but it'll be good. It's good to have him out there, and he's such a barometer for us as a footy team, so it's exciting to have him out there again. Are you surprised that he's not resting this week? I think it's, I guess it's, it's a crucial time of the year, and if you was to injure it further, it would be... Yeah, we. I mean, look at the track record of our um, fitness staff throughout the year. We've had a pretty healthy list all year, and um, I mean, you're back in the work of those guys. They've been able to perform so well throughout the year. And um, Zorks obviously knows his body pretty well. He's been around the traps for a fair while, so um, yeah, he's ready to go. He trained really well yesterday afternoon, uh, yesterday morning, and um, I'm sure he's looking forward to getting out there. Harris, when you do look at the, the calls that have been made about blokes coming back, and I think yourself is included, it has been conservative, uh, as in players have been past fit a right to go, but they have been given that extra week to, just to get 100%. Right? Yeah, that, that has occurred, I guess. Uh, I think it was maybe against Port Adelaide where we had a few boys um, a little bit sore and they um, obviously didn't play. But, you know, if Zorks is feeling good and up to it, ready to go, uh, and the fitness staff is happy with what he's done, then you've just got to back that in. So I imagine he'll be fine and, um, yeah, he's excited to get out there. What sort of difference would it make if he's not there? Oh, I, I mean, I think we've tried to institute a bit of a... Um, I guess mentality that like one soldier out, one soldier in this year, and um, you know if, if he was to miss the game, which he's not obviously going to, like we'd just bring someone in from the knee. They've been performing so well throughout the year, um, so yeah, we'd back someone in to come in and fill his role, and I'm sure they'll get the job done. It would have been hard keeping him from from playing this game. Though. Like, he really gets up in the game. He's been a Gold Coast boy. The recent rivalry we've seen. Him on yeah, he certainly does. Um, as you mentioned, like, he spent a lot of time on the Gold Coast growing up and um, I think he might have been overlooked for a few drafts by the Suns or whatever. However, that he, he talks about it all the time. But um, nah, in all seriousness, um, yeah, he does look forward to these games and as we all do against the, um, the Suns, so it's very exciting. How do, how do you guard against complacency, Harris? It's like the first game in a while that you'll be like a raging hot favourite, not playing a team that's vying for a spot at the top eight. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've been lucky enough to win seven in a row, but um, like Fags does such a good job of making sure that, and Hodgie in that respect, that when we are sort of seen to get, start to get ahead of ourselves, um, they knock us down a peg pretty quickly. So um, it's really important that we focus on what we need to do as a group, and um, that's obviously process driven. And I think we've got a good understanding by round 21 of what we need to do each week to perform well. And um, if we can just bring that each week, the results will look after itself. It's a history of 
sort of a lot of games in a row, but some people might say, well, you need to drop a game before the finals. But did, did, is there any reason why you feel like this kick group just can't keep, keep winning? No, I don't see why not. Um, obviously, big game this week against the Suns, and then uh, we've got a couple of tough ones to finish as well again in the last couple of rounds but um, as I said like we're not going to look too far into that we're just going to worry about what we have to do this weekend and um, if we can go out there and play our way um, the result will look after itself sort of thing. Over the next couple of weeks do you start to lean on Hodgie about how to handle approaching finals and keeping a lid on things? Yeah it is different like I haven't been in a situation where um, you know games I've been playing games this late in the season that you know potentially influence where we finish on the ladder so it's obviously a new ground for a lot of us guys and um, yeah, to have someone like, like Hodgie there and obviously Fags who have been at really successful clubs um, is yeah, somewhat, a bit of a sounding board, I guess. And um, if you can take little things away from those guys about like obviously recovery and that sort of thing so late in the season, it's all very important. And um, I've certainly been picking his brain about that. Harris, I know you, I think you've got a year or two on him, but have you, have you come across, have you played on Braden Crossley before, like even coming through before AFL? Left? No, I haven't played on. Oh, actually, I played him uh, last year or the year before, I think. Um, but certainly in junior training, I had nothing to do. Oh, no, we didn't cross paths, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's a Gold Coast matter. I'm obviously not going to sort of comment on that. You mentioned before Hodgie, along with Faze, is, is good at keeping a lid on things. We saw that great vision of the hit Rayner put on on the weekend, and Barry was on the bench, just lost his marbles. But Hodgie was there, just so nonchalant, like, I've done better. Is that how he sort of keeps a lid on things? Like, sort of reminding guys, like, yeah, we're doing well, but. You haven't really accomplished anything yet? Yeah, absolutely. He's uh, he's pretty quick, as I said, to, like, when you start to get ahead of yourself, really pull you back in the line. And, um, yeah, he's a bit of a cool cat in that regard. Like, he sort of doesn't really get flustered by too much. And um, it was a good hit by Cam. And as you can see, Jared was sort of carrying on. And there's wise old Hodge uh, sitting there watching, oh, yeah, I've done this a few times, I think. So, um, yeah, no, he's really good in that regard. And um, I'm sure the boys are really appreciative of that.